Welcome back to Nasa Grand Garage. So, uh, we got our lab test results in, and uh, they weren't quite as I expected them. So, I'm not going to bore you too much. Let's just get right into it. As you can see from our uh, from our analysis here, we uh, we missed the mark across the board. We got warnings on all four samples, which the sample to the far right is the original unclean sample. The uh, next one to the left of that is the 3,000 RPM. The one to the left of that is 6,000 RPM. And on the far left is 6,000 RPM, two passes. Now, uh, it's kind of interesting because the only issue on all three of the centrifuge samples that got flagged was a viscosity issue. Viscosity of the oil increased substantially with each pass, making it unsuitable for use. So we're not quite sure why that happened. We're not sure if it's a lab issue or what uh, I'm working with the company uh, to kind of figure out what direction they want to go if they want to test this at a different lab or what have you just to see because the uh, yeah the oil manufacturer is the one that failed our oil samples so you never know there um, next down uh, the total acid number TAN if you notice on the far right is at 0.95 we pretty well cut that in half across the board. Uh, a higher TAN number typically is a, a sign of oxidation. It's uh, acidity in the oil, basically. So that means the oil is breaking down. We actually cut that number in half. That's a good thing. Uh, wear metals, nothing substantially changed there. Uh, iron went up a little bit in all three samples compared to the base sample. Not sure why. Uh, could have just been a little bit of particulate from pipes could have been just what was in the sample itself we're not sure but uh nothing there was uh out of the realm of normal or they would have flagged it water content down on the next section in the contamination area if you notice we started out at 824 with a base sample uh right off the bat uh at the 3000 rpm run that dropped down to 50. On the 6,000 RPM run, different sample, of course that was down to 54. And then the dual pass 6,000 RPM brought that all the way down to 30 PPM. Now, we continue on where our far right sample was flagged is particulate. The four micron and over particulate count was at 180,490. Now, after our 3,000 RPM pass, we brought that down to 28,910. It's not great, but it's not flagged either. The next line over, 6,000 RPM, we brought that down even lower, down to 12,156. And that these are uh, counts per 100 milliliters. That's actually what's in the sample itself. Then our 6,000 dual pass brought that all the way down to 3854 and as you can tell across the board we are substantially better on every size of particulate which we expected but that just goes to show how much material this is pulling out and keep in mind this oil is uh, is highly contaminated it's contaminated with water mud wear metals things like that um, how does this compare to a standard oil sample as far as particulate count? I'm not sure, but uh, this gives us a good idea of how much it's removing. The 4406 2017 is kind of a number I want to uh, I want to pay a little bit of attention to. Diesel fuel also uses this standard to tell uh, or for uh, cleanliness at the pump, so to to be considered clean fuel at the pump. And the standard for that is 181613 at the pump and that means 
the fuel is considered clean at the nozzle. We got down to 19, 15, and 11. We barely, barely missed the mark comparing it to fuel coming directly out of the pump compared to our process cleaning our oil up. And uh, I'd venture to say we could beat it if uh, we just tweaked our process a little bit. Of course, you'd have to run every sample to the lab to make sure it's meeting that level. But uh, considering we were at 25, 22, 17 prior to all this, um, I'd say we're doing a fairly good job. Also, another big deal is uh, the water count. It's got to be at 200 ppm or lower. And as you saw before, uh, the worst run was the uh, single pass 6000 and it was only at 54 which uh, prior to running our uh, whole process it was at 824 it would have failed that test too so uh what's this mean well our process for making fuel two passes currently i'm going to step that up to three i think depending on if i've got time for each batch but anyways two passes at 6,000 RPM, heated at 180 degrees, brought nasty contaminated gear oil down to a cleanly, cleanliness level of what comes out of the diesel pump at the fuel station. So uh, yeah, I think it's plenty. I think it's doing a good job. I think it's the way to go. Uh, you could probably get the same level of clean, cleanliness just running the uh, process slow, as far as flow rate goes. Time in the bowl is what's important. Water removal, we're doing a great job there, so that's not a problem either. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, really impressed by the numbers. And I was kind of shocked to see that uh, once I started really diving into it, just how many things don't pass that uh, 4406 2017 standard. A lot of new oils right out of the container, right out of their bulk drums, won't meet those standards. So a lot of outfits suggest filtering all your bulk stuff you know, bulk fuels, bulk oils, that's why you see uh, farm tanks and everything else, they've got filtration on them because they don't, the fuel coming in to those tanks doesn't meet the standards. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, we're doing a good job as far as all this goes. But, yeah, I think that's going to answer a lot of people's questions on if all this process, all this stuff works. Uh, I'd say it does as far as particulate moisture is concerned. We'll just uh, leave it at that, wrap this up here. If you've got comments, questions, complaints, drop them in the comment section below. If uh, we do any further testing, which I think there will be some, I'm not positive on that yet, uh, we may be sending more samples out to the lab to see what, uh, see what they find. If we do that, I'll update, on, uh, I'll update you guys on all that. But, uh, yeah, if you would, hit that thumbs up button. Helps us out quite a bit. It doesn't cost you anything. If you want to support the channel, PayPal account is set up. Link to that is in the video description, as well as a link to our website with our merch, black diesel gear. And this setup here, uh, WVO Design 6000 RPM Centrifuge, which is what we use for all the testing. You can get that at the website, too. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching. Hmm. We'll leave them be.